morning. Today is Monday, October 23rd. And this is my outfit of the day. I have this olive green shirt from Forever 21. I purposely bought it a size up so it's a little bit longer and just a little bit more flowy. I'm wearing it with this necklace that I got from Rue 21 and these jeggings from American Eagle and my favorite black booties. It is officially colder in my classroom than it is outside right now. I had a good weekend. I got to spend time with my in-laws. They're probably leaving my house like right around now because I had to leave before they did. Um, so I'm so sad that they're leaving. I wish they, you know, would stay longer, but obviously before working, there's really no point. So I did have like a really relaxing weekend overall. And the only thing that I got done was planning for next week and getting my lesson plans done for my lead evaluator. I did like nothing else. Um, actually, I did look for a project for general geometry and there's nothing that fits. So I'm gonna have to like make something up on my own, which is annoying, but it's what you have to do sometimes. I am feeling a little bit better than I was last week, but I think it's definitely just exhaustion and I just need to go to bed earlier because I tend to keep on going, going, going until it's like really late and then not sleeping totally through the night and it just doesn't work so just need to go to bed earlier is the bottom line so once again this weekend I forgot to finish putting together my lesson presentations for my classes geometry was done but I still have to do general geometry which I need to do like ASAP because that's my first class and SAT prep I have what I need for today but for the rest of the week I have to put that together which really does go quick so that one's not bad it's just general geometry could take a bit of time and on Friday in general geometry I know I want to play a game with them like a review game I'm thinking it's going to be Kahoot I'm not 100% certain I've got to get something together though because right now I have nothing for them so that's what's going on and Really, I just need to put the camera down and get to work because I have so much to do. Like, I'm feeling very overwhelmed and just borderline anxious. So, I just gotta get to work. I've always kept tissues and lotion on my desk for my students. And everything else on my desk is off limits. This is the only thing that they could touch, which makes it kind of confusing. So, I'm actually going to move them. I've kept them back here because I just know that when students have to blow their nose, they kind of don't want to do it in front of the room but if they need to they can walk back here so i'm gonna take these also the lotion had this year for the first time kind of been making a mess which is really annoying so i basically have a student center in the front of my room right here and that's for all the things that they need so these are going to live here Okay, so now they have the pencil sharpener, which makes a huge mess, and putting down light colored contact paper this summer was a mistake. I might have to switch this back out for the dark contact paper that was here originally. So they have pencil sharpener, mini stapler, and three hole punch. And then the pencil, so I didn't show this, but I updated it last week. It is bothering me that the P is really off center. Like it's way off to the side and the S is not. I might have to overlap a little bit on the left side to fix it and I have all my pencils ready to go and then I had to um, put a note on here to just clip or unclip the pencils not to pull the magnets off I had to glue these down because they're driving me insane they um, would fall off actually and then fall behind the filing cabinet down between the filing cabinet and the wall so I glued them down but now kids are like pulling the magnets off which defeats the purpose so I actually had to put up a sign that you're supposed to clip or unclip the pencils so actually now I feel like this whole area needs to be cleaned up, which is what I'm going to do real quick right now. Okay, so I know this is the last thing that I should be doing right now because I really just rattled off a list of things I had to do. But here's the difference between where the pencil sharpener was and where the pencil sharpener has not been. I know Michelle from Pocketville of Primary, she got a like placemat just to put underneath the pencil sharpener. I really might have to do the same thing. Okay, so here is the slightly new and improved student center. So pencil sharpener, three hole punch, lotion, tissues, stapler. And then in this I keep things that they might need. So I have a test corrections form, lined paper, scrap paper. I'm not having a good day. So today in general geometry, we are exploring the relationship between sides and angles because the side 
across from the largest angle is going to be your longest side of the triangle. I'm having them, or trying at least, to have them discover that by giving them two triangles to measure their sides and their angles. It didn't go so well. So they have to measure angles with a protractor, something that they probably haven't done since elementary school, hopefully middle school, but you just never know. I, I used to have a good working knowledge of when students learned certain topics in math because I subbed grades six through 12 for a while, like, like a year and a half I was subbing. So I would usually end up subbing for math teachers if they were able to put me in for them. So I got a sense of when students learn different things and since we switched to Common Core, I no longer have that sense. But I was looking some things up about measuring with the protractors. It looks like it's a fourth grade topic for Common Core at least. So I found a video just real quick to show how to measure with a protractor. I show them the video and instead of, you know, trying to learn something from it, which some of them did, and again, I don't want to discredit anybody. A lot of kids are just taking the time to make fun of the video instead of pay attention to what it was trying to show them. So they didn't really gain anything from it and that was really frustrating. B periods lesson went okay, we didn't get through everything. Partially it's because we had a quiz. The other part is that that class has been just driving me nuts lately. So I'm going over their entry routines with them and I need to do it more in depth tomorrow because we had the quiz and I didn't want to waste more time after the quiz to do that. But I was thinking about it this weekend and it would be great if I could be like, okay, you're losing a point for today because I have grade called professionalism where it's like they should be doing their due now, their exit ticket, taking their notes, coming prepared, having a good attitude. And I factor those five things in per day. And if they're not doing something, like if they don't get the due now done, they're losing that point for the day. It gets averaged out. So it dawned on me this weekend that that grade's called professionalism and coming in, following directions, following the procedures, doing what you're supposed to be doing, that falls under that category. So yeah, I can take points away from their grade if they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, simply for that. So I've been having it like reflect basically as, well, you were fooling around, you didn't get the do now done. Now I might like double count it and be like, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and you didn't finish your do now, so maybe but I'm at least going to tell them that and explain it to them that way this is part of your job here in school is to do these things and if you're not doing them you're not gonna get full credit so I'm going to explain that better tomorrow I kind of kind of had to like lay into some of the kids today and say listen there's like five or six of you that's holding everyone else back and it's really not fair because a lot of that class is really good kids really smart really sweet and they just want to learn and then you have a couple of goofballs holding them back the frustrating thing is that as I'm telling them this, one of those kids just starts smirking and turning around to his friends, like laughing. And I'm, I looked dead at this kid and was like, it's not funny and it's not cute and it's not okay. And then he got real serious. So hopefully that message sticks with them that this is not, not okay. And I even went so far as to compare them to my other class. I said, listen, I have this other class each period it's the last period of the day you would expect them to not get stuff done because we lose time for the announcements and some of those kids are goofballs like you guys but when it gets time to work they stop and they get to work and we get our stuff done so we always have time well i don't say always but we frequently have time at the end of class where they can get their homework started this class doesn't even get to finish their notes and it's because of these kids and then my last resort I might have to start kicking people out, which I never do. Usually I don't have to. Usually once I tell them like, this happens again, you're leaving, they're like, okay, I'm good. Because deep down they do want to learn. It's just, they're acting out for, for one reason or another, but they know if they're not here, they're not learning. So, plus it's not good to have to go down to ISS because they they'll get a referral when I kick them out. Okay, you see this right here? This is an oil stain from the oil that I had put into my hair to keep it from getting frizzy. And you know what? It's frizzy anyway. It wasn't even worth it. So it's almost 4.30. I'm going to finally get going. I was planning on exercising today when I got home and it's just not gonna happen. I have all my planning to do still. I got my presentations done for the rest of the week. And right now I'm considering adding notes to the presentation tomorrow to go over the procedures that I was explaining about earlier because both of my geometry classes, they really need it. And 
I got the quizzes graded. I did an item analysis on all of them. I've been here for an hour and a half. I don't even remember what I did. I got things set up for tomorrow, so like my boards are ready. That was like the last thing that I did. Everything is in my front of the room command center, file bin ready to go. I had work to prep for students that won't be here tomorrow and I guess it was a lot. I had absent work to prep from my last period class because I had kids that it didn't show up on school tool but they were actually absent so I had extra stuff to do. I know I prepped one earlier today and it wasn't even there. So there was just a lot going on. So my favorite thing to do is to put in podcasts and my favorite podcast is Angela Watson's Truth For Teachers and I've not listened to it in over a month so I have like a bunch of episodes just ready to go and I listened to three or four of them today so I feel a little bit accomplished because I got to do that but it just helps keep me in like a teaching zone so I like the podcasts and I think tonight when I go home I'm gonna listen to music or maybe more podcasts while I'm working because lately I've been like Netflix and planning and that doesn't always work out so well so I can't think of anything else to add, so I'm gonna get going and maybe I'll check in later tonight or maybe you'll hear from me tomorrow. Good morning, today is Tuesday, October 24th and here's my outfit of the day. So I have this statement necklace with pearls that I got from New York and Company a few years ago. I'm wearing this blazer that I'm pretty sure I got it like Joyce Leslie and I'm wearing it over this dark green Amelia dress. And it's hard to get the light, but there's like this really subtle pattern in it. So I just love it because it's like solid, but then there's still a little bit of a pattern. So it looks cool. And then my black heels. Good morning. I'm feeling much better today compared to yesterday, although I really did not get much sleep last night. Um, but other than that, I feel fine. Like yesterday was the first Monday of the school year where I was like, kind of dreading it like I didn't want to come in and rather than push it away like I have been the past couple weeks I just kind of acknowledged that I really wanted a three-day weekend so yesterday before I left I put together a to-do list of things that I wanted taken care of this morning I got through my to-do list so I'm in a good place and today I have a lot to prepare for next week but I have today and then I have later tonight when I get home and I'm just trying not to think about it too much and just take it one thing at a time so I just feel a little bit better overall. Um, and then today after school, I have the after school program for the first day today. Um, so I won't get out of here till at least 4.15. And then I'm thinking I might need to stop at Walmart because we're kind of running low on bread. And tomorrow is unity day and we're supposed to wear orange for like some kind of anti-bullying thing. and. I don't own a stitch of orange, which is weird because it's actually my favorite color. I just don't wear it. So my day is about to begin. I'm going to put the camera down and just finish getting ready. So I did not even get to pick up my camera until now after school. It's almost 4.30. I'm getting ready to leave. My first day of after school program was fine. I need to have stuff for them to do when they finish doing their homework because I have them for an hour and 15 minutes. So. They're going to finish their work most likely and then they need something else to do because today they were drawing on my board which personally it just is something that drives me nuts i don't know why and it's like the dumbest thing ever but it bugs me mostly i think it's because they waste my markers or ruin my markers so it's justified but today i let them because it was no big deal in geometry today we took our notes on congruence we didn't get through everything so i mean i don't know i'm using like the common core module to introduce the idea and i don't i don't know i just don't love how it's put together so i think i might change that up for next year um i might take away one of those examples and keep the other two that are actual regions examples because one of them is really interesting in general geometry we did task cards just practicing with the angle side relationship at least that's what i call it other people call it like triangle inequalities but that's kind of vague because it could mean a couple different things so I like to narrow it down, but we practiced with that today. They did better, but they're having a hard time connecting the fact that there's angles across from sides. And then I realized they forgot how to name angles and sides. So yeah, I had to go over that stuff with them. So, I mean, everything was good overall. I really don't have anything interesting or exciting to report. 
It's kind of like a blah day. I still have to make a test for SAT prep for next week, a quiz for geometry. I have a test for general geometry and their review sheet, but I need to make up like a second version of the test, which will probably be the original test just mixed up because that's just easier and I don't really have a problem with them cheating too much anyway. The sun is coming back and forth, so that's why my lighting is changing pretty drastically. But yeah, I think that's it. So I'm going to end today's vlogging here, and I'll be back tomorrow. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 25th, and this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this necklace with like some pearls and black beads that I got from New York & Company almost 10 years ago now. This black and white striped t-shirt is from Target. It's actually a v-neck and it's one of the few v-necks that I could wear to school and feel okay about. And then I'm wearing this burgundy pencil skirt that I got from Joyce Leslie. And just one trick to keep my skirt looking smooth while keeping a shirt tucked in, I actually tuck my shirt into my pantyhose. It also keeps it in place. And I'm wearing these black wedges from Target. Yesterday after I left, I went to Walmart because I needed some things for home and also today's like unity day So I was trying to find something orange to wear There's nothing Orange is such an unpopular color I was hoping to find like a burnt orange scarf or even like a cardigan and then I'd be able to wear it with what I'm wearing today And it would have been fine, but I couldn't find anything all I could find was like ties and I bought one and it was cute. It's like orange and gray like plaid and then I realized it's gonna clash with my outfit and I'm not changing my entire outfit to work this one little tie in just because of this day where I'm supposed to wear orange. So my husband's actually going to wear it because he has his school's unity day like Friday. So when I got home from Walmart, it was like after 5.30 and then I collapsed for like 10 or 15 minutes, got my second wind, put on my pajamas and started making dinner. Um, and I made ravioli with uh, squash, butternut squash sauce, so it's like I had to puree the squash first, and that took a while, and once I got that done, then you just like mix it with half and half, and spice it up, and then put the ravioli in it, it's really good. But that took me like an hour and a half for everything, so it was like 7.30, it was before 7.30 actually, when we finished dinner, and I just realized that if I were to start working at that time, I would have been up to like at least 9.30 working and then would be up even later. So I just took the time to relax and I laid on the couch and read a book and watched TV with my husband. I still didn't end up going to bed till like quarter after 10 because I was wide awake. Yeah, so long story short, I got nothing done last night and I need to prep a test and I need to do like my answer keys of everything today. So I do have a lot of work ahead of me. My plan for today is to go home like right after work. I don't have anything to stay for. I don't have after school program today. Um, all I have to do is get my stuff ready for tomorrow and then go home and take care of everything else that I need to do. The good news is tonight we're having leftovers so I don't have to make dinner again. Yeah, I don't have anything else to report. That's just kind of it. For now so I'm gonna put the camera down and get to work hopefully I can get my test started that I have to create so it's almost 3 40 I'm getting ready to leave I am like feeling just like extremely exhausted like on and off and I don't want to just be like complaining about how tired I am all the time but I don't know like I said in my last vlog like I've been feeling off for like two weeks which is really annoying I feel like I just need some like serious rest which is why last night I rested but now I have so much stuff I have to do okay so it's like 3 40 I'm getting ready to leave I'm feeling super exhausted like on and off like I'll be normal and then all of a sudden it'll hit me that I'm just extremely tired so today in geometry we did review and they have their test tomorrow so we'll see what happens there I asked my one class, because I forgot to do it earlier, how they would respond to me preparing flashcards for them. I'm not going to make the flashcards for them, necessarily, but I'm, well, kind of. Alright, so I came up with a template, because there's certain words that they need to know what they mean. So they'd have to fill in the definitions, but I'm making the cards so that they have the words on them, and then they'll have a diagram when it applies, 
and I want them to like write down the statement like what are they going to do with that like if an angle is being bisected then they need to write that the two pieces of angle are equal to each other that's what I'm looking for so I have the template made up I just have to go through and put in the diagrams I asked them if that was something that they would be receptive to and um, I got a couple people that are like yes absolutely so now I'm kind of like do I force it on everyone and make them do it because they really really need to know their vocabulary or do I not force it but like let it be an extra credit thing I'm kind of on the fence about it but realistically I think everyone would benefit from reviewing that vocabulary so maybe I also told them that I would get them book rings so that they had all their flashcards on a ring together if that's what they want and they got really excited over that so that's something I can do in general geometry today we took notes on isosceles and equilateral triangles and a period they were funny today there's kind of like go ahead orient the board wait take your time make sure you like press the thing for like a good three seconds to make sure it orients because they were just trying to waste time but they were amusing and enjoyable so we got to chit chat a little bit but still got the stuff done which is all i can ask for in d period though i just i don't know after having a prep and just kind of like being able to sit and start working on stuff i just was not in the mood to go back to teaching d period so i kind of felt bad and i felt like it was so boring for them because i was just kind of feeling really tired and then sat prep they took a quiz and we did systems of equations it was supposed to include inequalities but it really didn't now that i'm thinking about it but that was a class where i felt the most tired and i was making all kinds of crazy mistakes like forgetting in the middle of a sentence what I was talking about so that's I mean that's the kind of exhaustion that I'm talking about and then each period today we are reviewing for their test and what the class started with was a couple of knuckleheads shooting rubber bands so I said okay we're not doing this you all need to stop right now it's not okay so I caught one kid actually doing it, so I'm gonna have to take care of that. So after I told them that there was going to be consequences because this is not acceptable behavior, I had them like sticking up their fingers like they were going to shoot a rubber band at someone, but not actually doing it. So it was just frustrating trying to police that because they're like, what, I'm not shooting a rubber band. Like it's not, not okay, not cute. So that's my Teach 180 post for today is, hey, a little bit of teacher reality for you. This is what kids do when they find a ton of these tiny little rubber bands. They're like hair rubber bands. I don't know where they came from. So yeah, that was how my day ended. I'm going to go because I've been vlogging for like five minutes now and I'm tired and I have stuff to do and I might be hungry, I can't really tell. But yeah, I'm going. <laughs> Good morning, today is Thursday, October 26th, and this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this blue blazer that I got from Amazon with this floral printed t-shirt that I got from H&M, and a pair of black pants that I got from Marshalls. They're kind of like the pull-on dress pants, and I'm wearing that with black booties. I feel like I got nothing done last night, but I was working for like at least two hours straight. I was doing all my answer keys and there was a lot of things that I wanted to change or fix like one day next week students are just practicing with proofs and I had six proofs and I took two of them out because it was taking me too long to get through it so I was like there's no way my kids would get through that in one period so I trimmed that down and there's a couple other little things that I was like okay this needs to be fixed this needs to be fixed I spent like another 20 minutes trying to find some kind of suitable project for general geometry. So we are concluding our unit on triangle properties and all the projects I can find are either like way above them, like they include um, centers of triangles which we don't cover because they don't need to and it's a lot of extra stuff that would be over their heads. So I didn't do any of that and trying to find a project that incorporates the different things we did learn it's just it's not out there and what i want to do more than anything is have them find triangles in real life take a picture of it print it out and then you know we could do something with that problem is 
I don't know which of my students have phones, which don't, so realistically, I don't think it would be a good project to try to implement because not every student has a phone, so it doesn't really work out. And then I don't like the idea of having them do it in partners because they're here one day, not the next, and that's just complicated, so I just wanted to leave that out of it. And then after going through all this, trying to figure it out, I remember I could just have them make posters. Like that's always like my backup plan. If I can't find a project or think of one, make up a poster about some topic that we learned. So that's what we're going to do. And it should take two days, no problem, I hope. And yeah, they need some kind of project. And I mean, it works. They're summarizing their knowledge. Not the best project, but it will do. Especially for now, just trying to get them like used to doing projects because we haven't done one yet and they have to like i don't know i think kind of experience how we do projects here just so that they're aware for next time and i think starting out with like an easier type of project makes it better i hope i still have to make a quiz for geometry and a review sheet for sat prep i think i'm going to go through questions that we've done in class and just kind of get the ones that are most similar to what's on the test. I think that's probably the fastest, the easiest, and probably the best approach because I don't want to use all of the practice SAT questions that are available because once I do that, I'm not gonna have like a good bank to choose from because I'm basically, I only have like a very finite amount of questions that I can use and I don't wanna use everything and have them get to do like a full practice test at the end of the year and already know all the questions. I need a game for general geometry tomorrow. I requested a chrome cart. I hope that goes through and if it does, we're going to play Kahoot. So they have a quiz tomorrow and then after the quiz, we'll do Kahoot. So I probably won't need like a super long Kahoot, like maybe 10 to 12 questions because I'm not sure. I'll always have kids finish like early for their quiz and then I have kids take longer, so probably about half the period. So I'm figuring half the period will be the quiz, the other half will be playing Kahoot. So by the time they all get a Chromebook and log on and all that, and get a dry erase board and everything, we'll probably have like half the period to play. So I'm okay with that. What I didn't want to do was review on Friday and then have them take the test on Monday, because I hate doing tests and quizzes on Monday. Sometimes it's like my only option, like this week I had to give geometry a quiz on Monday, but I try to avoid it if I can. So they're going to have their test next Tuesday. So I'm going to sit down, make out a to-do list so I remember everything I need to do and then get it done. And I think I have to make copies today and that's like my big thing. And that doesn't, that only takes like a half a period. So I'm gonna put the camera down and just start getting to work. Here's my to-do list for today. It's almost five o'clock. I've only crossed these two things off my list. This one was crossed off prematurely because I still have stuff to print out. So in a nutshell, it has not been a good day. I'm here way later than I ever anticipated. I just finished grading geometry tests because I had after school program and I had four kids that were completely obnoxious the entire time. Not like they were being rude or disrespectful to me, but just really loud, like not running around the room, but at like instances they were moving around like a lot. And it's like, why aren't you sitting down? And it's my fault because I forgot that when they finish whatever work they come here with, I need to provide them with work. And in some cases, I don't even think they came with work. It's like they came just to hang out. And then some kids were saying that they came because their parents forced them to come. So it's just very frustrating that I am basically here to be a babysitter. But again, it's my fault, so I just need to be ready next time and just have stuff. I think I might just print stuff out and just have it ready and have it sit in a folder and, because I don't know what else to do. It's just very, very frustrating and it's not something I should have to deal with. So I got the test graded, I got nothing made that I wanted to, and to be honest, I'm kind of okay with over the weekend, I have like three things that I need to prep and I'll live. I didn't even put stuff out for tomorrow yet and I'm gonna do it in the morning. I don't care right now. I was feeling very aggravated and frustrated. Some of the tests were great. Other tests, like, 
there's this one question that nobody should have gotten wrong and a lot of kids got it wrong so it's like what did i do wrong that's how i feel every time i grade test and they don't come out well it's like what did i do sometimes though the kids are not holding up their end of the bargain you know what i mean it's like i could teach you all day long but if you're not receptive to learning or you're not actively participating it's not going to get through to you and it's like like they need to do their part too it's not all about me and what i do but it does make me question what could i've done differently or what i've done better so i think that i'm just in that mind frame so i've yet to find the positive but i'm hoping tomorrow i have it for you my room's kind of a mess and i'm going to leave it that way because it's five o'clock and all i want to do is go to target which is weird. So I'm leaving here, going straight to the mall, and I'm going to walk around. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping, mainly just for like retail therapy, and I'm going to get Chipotle for dinner. And that's my night. And I have to, have to, have to have a Kahoot game prepared for tomorrow. And I'm hoping to get here early tomorrow, like really early, and just get everything in order because. It's just chaos right now and I just, I feel like I need to leave it for my sanity. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to leave and I know what I'm walking into tomorrow and I hope I can just take care of it tomorrow and it'll be okay. The highlight of my day today though has been two students that graduated came back to visit and it just made my day. They walked in and I literally just squealed like a teenage girl meeting like her boy band idol yeah so it was a little bit embarrassing because the kids are looking at me like what is wrong with you and i'm like but it's them and they're here so i got to chit chat with them and hear how everyone's doing and my seniors from last year who i love and adore i hear they're doing well overall so it's very exciting i'm just so happy for them i miss these kids so much so it was lovely to see them something that happened today that i did not feel good about though was Former students of mine, they are in a position where they need a class advisor and they came right to me and they're kind of like, you're kind of the person that everyone kind of says that they would like to have as their advisor. And I had to turn them down because I can't. It's too much for me. I did it last year and I did it two years ago. I feel like I'm still like recuperating and what I was really looking forward to this year was just focusing 100% on teaching and not worrying about anything else and not doing any extracurriculars. But I feel so bad saying no to them and disappointing them. I'm sure it's just a teacher thing and hopefully you guys know what I mean. Like, I can't do it. I, For my sanity, I cannot. But I really wish I could. And physically I could, but mentally I don't think I could handle it. So like for what's, I had to do what's best for me and I had to say no. But I feel bad because I want to do what is best for them as well. And in this case I just can't. I did offer them though that you know I could advise their new advisor when they find one because I did it last year and I like helping other people. Okay, so I'm going to get going and I'm going to enjoy myself tonight and then get home and put a cahoot together. So that's the plan. Good morning, today's Friday, October 27th. And today I'm wearing this cardigan that I got from Target. It's just so cozy. And I'm wearing this t-shirt that I ordered from Sunfrog T-shirts. I know it's backwards in the mirror, but it says I became a teacher for the money and fame. I'm wearing American Eagle jeans and these gray sneakers that I picked up from Target. I did it. I made it to Friday. I feel like it's a big accomplishment. So I had my retail therapy last night and all I really found was cardstock. I didn't really buy anything else, so it was kind of a, a waste. But it was just kind of nice to do something that wasn't work for a while. So this morning I got up at 4.45 and went to Dunkin Donuts for breakfast and got here like 6.45ish. Going to Dunkin Donuts is like a serious treat for me just because I have to go so far out of my way to get there. So I got here early and did not even find time to vlog anything. So I had like an hour and 20-25 minutes before students came in just to get stuff done because everything was, it just felt like it was so out of order. I got here around like 6.45 this morning. It gave me like an hour and 20 minutes just to get stuff done and together. And I don't know, I just feel so much better now that I've had stuff done and just taken care of and now it's out of the way. So when I was here this morning, I got to put 
the information about our interactive notebook for the day on the board. I finished making all of my copies for next week except for the three things that I still need to work on over this weekend. I got to check an activity that I did yesterday with A period and I really just put like check marks on it based on what I saw them doing in class because I had a scavenger hunt activity and I had cards put down at each desk and I had kids that stayed right where they were and tried to get people to bring the cards to them which that's not how that works you need to get up off here but and go do something so I gave the people that didn't do anything check minuses and it's going to reflect in their professionalism grade for the week and the people that got around and went to as many tables as they could they got full credit I didn't even go through and check if the answers were right or wrong because the scavenger hunt that I use had this self checking thing in it already so I didn't feel that I needed to check their their work as much because they were able to see what they did wrong and when they got stuck they were all asking for help so I'm confident that they they got those questions right that they were doing yesterday we took a test so I had to grade interactive notebooks and I took care of a couple notebooks that were left behind this morning so yesterday it was actually kind of stressful trying to check the notebooks because we did an activity toward the end of the class the day before that they had to do like a card sort and put it in their notes so in B period they had like five minutes to do it which some of them were finished and some of them were not and then H period they had 10 minutes so some of them were finished some of them were not and they have no excuse for that one so in B period is a little bit more lenient and I gave them more time to work on their notebooks I did for H period too because I had a couple kids that were like absent or they were missing something and they needed to get it together so I gave them time to get their notebooks together but I didn't get to see all the notebooks by the end so some kids like left their notebooks with me to check and I did that so it's everything that's going on right now I need to just basically get back to getting stuff done and trying to continue with my productivity it's just after 3 45 on a Friday I got everything done with two exceptions I still have to make a review for SAT prep which I need to get on because that I need done for Monday and then I need a geometry quiz ready for next Friday those are the only two things I got everything else done I had a to-do list and everything was done by G period or like my seventh period so I just feel super good really accomplished and I'm getting ready to go home so since I had just about everything done that I had to do before my last period I decided to stay late anyway I had like emails to respond to and I took care of one thing that I've been wanting to do for a while now I mean for like weeks I finally got around to updating my board headings SAT I've had fixed for a while but this afternoon I just put up my general geometry heading, homework, and geometry. The letters that were up there already were like this really like flimsy cardboard of these like cutout letters that I bought at I think Michael's a couple years ago. So these are letters that I had cut out with my Cricut using laminated cardstock. So they're a lot sturdier and hopefully they hold up. So we'll see what happens. I'm just so much happier having it color coded. So overall, I am thrilled with that transformation. That will probably be my classroom close-up next week on Instagram, every Wednesday. I just started last week posting um, just like photos of different parts of my classroom that I'm proud of and just basically doing like more in-depth descriptions of what it is and how I use it and all that stuff. So if you're not following me on Instagram already, my information's about to come up. And so this concludes another weekly vlog of my teacher life. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to be here for future content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.